Gav's, uh, <laughs> we're going to come to Gav's car and he's got, look at this, it's Shut a toys. turtle bot, folks. I love it. This is, I don't think they've officially finished this yet. I pre-ordered on the hardware. <laughs> right. And I'm it's, still waiting on the software, but it's a fantastic robot base. There's encoders in the wheels there. Yeah. So you can very accurately estimate how far the robot goes. Right. It'll dock to charge, which the previous one didn't, which is very tricky. It's got a boost converter so I can power my netbook straight off the same ah, battery. Ah, nice. That, yep. that solves everything. And this guy is the Xion, which is like the Microsoft Connect. Oh, I was going to so say, it looks very similar to a Microsoft Connect. It's a, it's a full 3D camera. So right. I can go around and make a three-dimensional map of the environment. Yep. I can do a thing called SLAM, which is where I estimate how far the robot's gone and also make a map at the same time. Ah. So you're doing... Mapping is one thing, localization is another. Slam is when you try and do both simultaneously and get more accurate than either. Got it. Alone. How does that track accurately on different surfaces though? Ah, so there's, an, there's a gyroscope inside right. and if it notices the encoders are spinning really fast and the gyro isn't, and it's not, it then knows it... to ignore the gyro. Right, uh, sorry, ignore, the ignore the wheels and just, versa. right. Got it, clever. So it's, and so what, is this a kit or what is it? This is a uh, demonstration robot from it's basically it's a simple test bed for the robot operating system. Yep. Um, and it's a, it's all open source. It's made by the guys at Willow Garage, who are the current maintainers of OpenCV, the vision library. Oh yeah. Uh, right. We're not worthy. Yeah, much kudos yeah, to yeah, these yeah, guys. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I've been I've been playing with this. It's it's absolutely fantastic to get into robotics. So. Whoa, and how much? I think it was about eighteen hundred dollars delivered. That yep. includes a netbook, the three D camera, oh, everything. It's, wow! And it's a really nice netbook. So, oh, jeez, yeah. that's I'll have all to show right. you that sometime, Dave, when I've got it actually up and running. So. Up, up and running, and and there's and you can it's just got shelves to fit other that's stuff it. on. Is that... It's it's very extendable as yeah. well. So I've made uh, I've made a three D uh, laser that does time of flight to measure distance. Right. I've made something for that that will nod the laser up and down oh. to turn a 2D slice into a 3D map. Yeah. I've also made some other things like uh, LED lights and just get it a bit more expressive. It's very, very extensible. So. Oh, yeah. beautiful. I want one. And it's, it's, look, it's a lovely little turtle on there. I just That's want right. one because it's got a turtle. And it's called the Turtle Bot. Oh, beautiful. Thanks, Gav. And we've got a funky looking camera rig here. Check this out. Tell us about this, Gav. This is the Cinemoco um, by Cinetics, or possibly the other way around. <laughs> right. Uh, but if the battery weren't flat, it would be able to drive it itself backwards and forwards along this rail. And yep. it's all about making smooth motion control and time lapse. So you could set mm. up a DSLR on top here. Yep. You can have it uh, slowly moving in front of things over a course of a couple of hours. You can see clouds whirling past. It just adds a bit of extra dynamism to a time lapse. Got it. And also you can take it off the rails and these will run perfectly well on a flat surface. If I angle it like that, right. you could have a nice little swirling Swir around someone. Right, yeah. so it, could, it, it can follow a circular path? Absolutely, absolutely. Right. A straight line, you could have it... Um, it's, this is all programmable and I'm pretty sure it's all open source hardware and software. Yep. So you could even make it do oscillations backwards and forwards if you wanted it for an interview or something. Yep. Um, yeah. Fantastic, and how much does that kit cost? Ooh, all up, this was a, just under a thousand dollars, I think. Right. Yep. Um, but it's all, all it's this all, screws yeah, apart. It's, it's beautiful. It comes with some, some very nice little uh, lanyard bags and things, so you can transport it, put it all yep. in a backpack. Um, I'm very happy with the quality. 